It was once believed that living things were imbued with a kind of vital force which made them alive. It does seem that the chemical activity of living systems is mysteriously more complex and diverse than that of non-living systems. It was thought that certain chemicals, organic compounds such as sugars, could only be produced by living organisms. In 1826, Friedrich Wohler, a German chemist, succeeded in making an organic compound in the laboratory without any help from the vital force. The compound he synthesized was urea, a simple molecule containing carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Wohler's discovery opened the door to the study of the chemistry of living organisms. We can learn much about the structure and function of organisms by studying their chemistry. Urea and the other organic chemicals which stymied the chemists of Wohler's time are compounds which contain carbon. Organic chemistry is the study of carbon compounds. Biochemistry is the study of the chemical reactions which occur in living organisms. Most of these reactions involve organic compounds. This module outlines several general basic principles of organic chemistry and also a little biochemistry. In order to understand this module, you should have some background in basic inorganic chemistry. You should have some familiarity with the structure of atoms and simple chemical reactions. Most biology texts contain review chapters on chemistry if you think you need to brush up. The chemistry of life on Earth is the chemistry of water and carbon. The average cell is about 70% water and 30% other substances.